Just last week, we had the opportunity to celebrate a major milestone for Stage 2 of LRT in the East End with the launch of the demolition of the 174 bridges to make room for the new Montreal Road Station. Today, I'm excited to see the same kind of progress taking place in Stage 2 right here in the south end of the city. It will bring the comfort and convenience of light rail transit to more communities farther east, west, and south, including all the way to North Bowesville, Lime Bank, and the Ottawa Airport. It will also help us reduce our city's greenhouse gas emissions that will greatly contribute to our local economy, including the post-COVID recovery. In 2020 alone, Stage 2 LRT has resulted in 1,400 local jobs and more than $500 million issued to local vendors and suppliers right here in the nation's capital. And I want to emphasize how important the link is to the Ottawa airport, which will help to rebuild our tourism industry that Lisa has been working tirelessly on because, as she pointed out and is correct, uh, tourism was, was probably the hardest hit industry in all of uh, uh, Canada, certainly in Ontario. The South Extension will add 16 kilometres of track and four new stations from Greenbank Station to Limebank Road and Riverside South, South Keys, Leitrim, Bowesville and Limebank Stations. There will be two new stations added to the existing Trillium Line, Corso Italia and Walkley Stations. And the extension will also deliver <coughs> excuse me, three new pedestrian bridges to improve connectivity to LRT, one at Bayview Station, one over the Rideau River at Carleton University, and one over Hunt Club. Another major component of this project is the new Walkley Yard Maintenance Storage Facility, which is right behind me. As you can see, uh, the construction of this facility is well underway. After only breaking ground last year, the 200-ton exterior shell is nearly complete and tracked installation is about to begin. So this is a really important part of our rail network right here in the south end. The new Walkley Yard will be a LEED certified facility that will house the 13 O-Train South vehicles, which will be cleaned, inspected, maintained, stored and operated right out of here. Now, the Mayor mentioned that I'm the Minister of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries. Tourism is the third largest sector industry in the City of Ottawa. And we have been hit hardest, we have been hit first, and it will take us the longest to recover. But make no mistake, this transit line our light rail will be able to ensure that our growth and recovery in tourism will be successful. And I know that there's no greater champion in this city for tourism than Michael Crockett, maybe myself, but I know that uh, for us to have that extension to the Ottawa International Airport is critical because Ottawa will be a gateway city for the province of Ontario in 2021 and beyond as we regrow tourism in our province. And no, uh, no more so than do we want to have a world-class airport with a world-class transit line. This project is an example of all three levels of government coming together at the table and setting up and delivering on transportation infrastructure that will connect people to places and prepare this city, our province, and the entire country to meet the needs of the future. Today is an exciting day in what a post-pandemic Ottawa, Ontario, and Canada will look like. Thank you very much, Your Worship, and MP Aria.